what's up everybody and welcome back to another video so last night I noticed that uh, this 50 gallon low boy had some water along the uh, the bottom seam and I had seen some salt creep along this uh, bottom part of the tank for a couple of days now but um, you know I thought it was just some water that had lapped over the uh, the edge of the tank but uh, by golly, it was a, uh, a leak. So I just uh, assumed that it was a, a seam down below inside the tank that had uh, busted. And so I immediately drained the, uh, the tank here and I put all my other frags that I had in that tank into this um, Coast to Coast Custom Aquariums frag tank, which is a 75 gallon frag tank. So now it's chock full of corals and um, yeah, so quite the bummer and I guess you really do uh, get what you pay for in terms of this uh, tank. I had, I'd actually traded it for some corals with a local fish store. It was brand new. I got it in the summertime. It didn't last too long, but it was a, uh, it was a cheap tank and yeah, I guess that's what happens when you invest in uh, cheap stuff. So I was going to use the same frag tank for my new tank build, the Peninsula tank build, but those plans are changing because I just don't trust these uh, these low boys, I really don't. And I've never had a tank leak on me, I've always, um, you know, over the last number of years gone with custom tanks, but um, you know, this stock tank, I'm just, I'm just really worried that it's gonna do the exact same thing, so. I think it is certainly really important to uh, consider what you are investing in in terms of equipment and think about it in terms of the long term of the um, you know the hobby. But I hey, listen. I'm sure not everybody that has these frag tanks finds that they leak. But uh, I don't need too many hints in terms of what the uh, the quality of this tank is when it just kind of starts leaking after a few months. So that's the uh, the deal. I have uh, drained all the water out of it and it is gonna go to the dump. <laughs> Going to the dump. As for this one, I don't know. Reach out to me, get a, I'll give you a really good deal on this, uh, this frag tank. Includes all the plumbing. But until then, I'm gonna have to uh, manage everything with uh, this frag tank and yeah. Really, uh, really need to kind of thin out these corals until I could figure out what to do with this uh, this tank. So this this grow out, grow out tank is going to be housing all my frags for the time being until I figure things out. You know, the other issue is that I have four um, small tangs in this um, little boy frag tank. So what I've done is I've actually relocated them into the uh, peninsula tank and you know I added some chromis last week and those are the first fish I put in there but you know I did start this with with live rock there's 100 pounds of live rock in there but the uh, so far so good you know the tangs are, uh, are okay you know the tank cycled a couple of weeks ago so I have faith they seem to be pretty happy um, but yeah I had a fun night last night in terms of draining this tank and I just didn't want to like leave it uh, until uh, the morning, you know, who knows if this thing would have busted wide open. Well, that will do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I also want to remind you about my premium SPS frag store on reefbum.com. I will leave a link in the video description below. I will also leave links from my equipment store. I do sell GHL, Royal Exclusive and Pax Bellum equipment Many of these products I do use personally on my tanks. And lastly, if you are interested, I do offer an online reef keeping master class which focuses on SPS dominant reefs. Hey, I really appreciate the view. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.